Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to WWE 2K16, and Marcus is going to have a tough night. It is the Monday after WrestleMania. We are taking on The Undertaker, and according to the authority, who we are now favorable with, we got to focus on a little bit of silver lining, right? We need to perform two signatures during the match. So we're still number four in the IC rankings, unfortunately. And the next pay-per-view is going to be Extreme Rules. So this should be all kinds of fun. Before we actually jump in with Taker, let's look at the IC title rankings. We've got Bad News Barrett as number one contender. So it would probably be best to go ahead and smack him down after we finish with Taker. So... Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Uh-oh. We don't have an entrance, so it looks like we're about to be attacked by someone. Let's see what happens here. I was kind of looking forward to fighting Taker, to tell you the truth. He'd be in a bad mood because he lost a match at WrestleMania. It was a triple threat, but... I don't know. Let's see what happens. Who is going to be next up on the Prince's chopping block? Because Marcus hasn't been sneak attacked in a long time. We are in Bloomington, Illinois. Quite the location for... Okay, here we go. Who's going to be that guy? Really? Goldust? Huh. Okay, well, we can work with that, I think. Let's go ahead and show Dustin what exactly we do to people who interrupt our theme music. Is he even in the IC title rankings? What division is he in? I thought he was in the U.S. I don't know. I guess we will find out here directly, though. Look at those European uppercuts and the clipped knee. Holy crap. And maybe there's Saito suplex to end the deal. How dare you, Goldust. Well, maybe that's one of those things where we can actually, maybe he's a former IC champion who doesn't think that Marcus is worthy of holding the gold. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're about to talk to Renee. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. Hello, Renee. Let's talk about Gold Dust. Sure. He attacked you tonight during your match. Do you have any words for him? Hmm. The only way he's going to get on TV is by showing up during my matches. I get that. He's starved for TV time. He's jealous of me. But honestly... He isn't worth my time. Things have been getting heated between you two. What are your thoughts on this rivalry? Now, I could go ahead and slack him off, but... It's true, though. With all due respect to him, I'm focused on other matchups in the WWE. I only want to face the How does that lower my now, egotistical and my disrespectful no by saying that he's not match. worth my time? I want bigger matchups. That's weird. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. Well, to be fair, he did attack us and if he had actually gotten the upper hand on us, yeah, we would have uh we would have called it a rivalry, but I think he learned his lesson taking multiple suplexes onto the concrete. He doesn't have a whole lot of those left in his career. And I love Goldust, don't get me wrong, but not really what I'm looking for. So, we will go ahead and go here, right on the stage top. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for Mr. Barrett. This will get us up to that number one contendership that we've been needing. I'm hoping at least. 
We've got we've got quite a bit until the next pay per view, so we can afford to probably have a rivalry with some a rivalry with someone and knock it out of the park. We'll have to we'll have to see what happens. And we're still in Bloomington, obviously. And this is bad news, Barrett. This isn't the... Ki oh, oh, never mind. He... Oh, no, never, never, he doesn't have the king stuff. The following contest is scheduled for football. We're making it... Wait a minute. What's he coming out for? And How's it going? I don't want to trip over your cape. Just to get in the ring. Let alone the baby... Oh, come on. Dude. Boom. As you would say. Or not boom, but boom. Now, the sooner we can finish this off, the better. So, go for the Saito suplex there. That has us up for a signature. So. Oh, he reversed the heart punch. And there's a clothesline from him. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens here because he could get the best better of us. Really? An Ionian nerve grip? It's like the most boring sneak attack ever. Okay. There's the shot. And I expect a good fight against Barrett here. But he can't fight this. There it is. Prince got it. Well, looks like we'll crown Prince our winner here tonight. Oh, he is making his intention. Sorry, boss, but you are a stepping stone. Now for some more face to face time with Renee. Cause really, that's all Marcus wants. Take out Dean Ambrose and have him and Renee and Lana ride off into the sunset. Please welcome my guest tonight. Let's talk about Bad News Barrett. Sure. You two met face to face in the ring tonight. What was the goal of that? Well, let's see. I'm ha yeah, I'm hating on him. That's pretty much what it is. First of all, I don't get why the WWE universe loves him so much. If you guys you heard uh, my cat meowing him. in the background. I apologize. But I have good reason well, once to. we actually get into he a match tonight, we can talk about the, uh, all the, the Royal Rumble all the opportunities. and all the stuff I'm that happened because it was a very, very interesting Royal Rumble, to say the least. Miserable until he admits that I'm better than him. I'm done here. And that'll actually knock Barrett down the you rankings. You two have been clashing a lot lately. Is this turning into a rivalry for you? You know what? Let's not... I'm brushing him off. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's a rivalry at all. Stuff like this happens day in and day out in the WWE. I just brush The reason it off I'm like doing this right now and not causing or not calling it a rivalry wants, is not because not Sorry. or knocking him out That's of the match actually lowered him down in the rankings. So let's see what happened here. There you have it. Back to you, Cole. I like to think Marcus is being very unpredictable right now. But let us see. Speaking of C, I'm very glad that we can't see him right now. Every so often you need a John Cena break. Alright. So, it was a busy backstage attack version of Raw. And what's happening here on... Holy crap! We are fighting the current... Um... <laughs> the current WWE Champion in real life. Put on a three-star match or better. Well, I can definitely do that against Trips. Now, Barrett should've... No, Barrett's still up in the rankings. Maybe I should've just started a fight with him. Okay. Well... Let's go ahead and fight Triple H then. 
And Barrett is in a handicap. He's on in a two-on-one tag against Neville. And this is an actual fight. Maybe Trips wants to see what I got. And as far as Marcus goes, I think he let out a little bit of steam on Trips for all the questionable decision making that uh, he feels Trips has made from time to time. This is the match we should eventually see between him and Rollins, between Triple H and Rollins. So, the Royal Rumble, very interesting, nothing but title matches. Every match except for the pre-show was a title match, if I don't miss my guess. It started out with a qualifying, um, a tag team, or was it a four-way tag team qualifying match on the pre-show? And I don't remember who exactly the teams were, but I knew it was it was worth it for no other reason than Damian Sandow came out to his old gimmick. He came out to the Hallelujah Chorus, and it was really, really good to see that again. He was still a face, which was weird, but he was, he was teaming with Darren Young. I remember that, so I think the primetime players may be done, but it was... It was good to see it for no other reason just to see him going back to that gimmick. Hopefully he turns back heel soon. Um, the pay-per-view started out very, very hot with um, Ambrose against Owens for the IC title. And they put on a very, very good match. A very good last man standing match. Tons of good spots. It ended with um, Owens taking a stacked table shot. There's a spine buster for you, Triple H. And it was, it was just a really good, I mean, that you couldn't open better than that, I think. Um, Ambrose retained, which means that it frees Owens up to feud with, uh, I was initially irritated about that, but then I saw what they have planned for Owens, hopefully, and if so, oh, it's going to be so good. And, oh, hit me with my own finisher, thanks Triple H. Um, after that, who had to follow that? I think it was the tag team match after that. It was the Usos against... Yeah, Usos against the New Day. And they brought out Francesca... Francesca or Cheska um, to Xavier Woods' new trombone. And that, that was funny. New Day retained, thankfully. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the Usos like a lot of people seem to. It's just, man, they need to get they need to have time to show their personalities on camera cuz otherwise, other than their little haka at the beginning of their entrance, they're they don't have much of a personality. Cuz I've seen them on Xavier Woods gaming channel and they do have a lot of personality. I just I really wish that WWE would show that. I'm just going to work on his you know on the quad a little bit you know triple triple h and the quads i do the same thing going against kevin nash i do need to switch those moves back um after that i believe was the u.s title match it was Callisto against um alberto del rio I didn't pay attention to a lot of the match, to tell you the truth, but uh, apparently there was an unfortunate um, botch during it that fortunately they did not let get to them. They just went straight into something else. Let's do a jump off of Brett's rope here. And Kalisto retained, so that's good. Hopefully he'll have a long reign where they can kind of build the title up and build Kalisto up as well. Ow. Actually, I didn't check how many uh, reversals Triple H has. He has four, which makes a lot of sense. And then was the, um, it was Becky Lynch against Charlotte, and that was a, that was a good match. Um, Ric Flair was in the corner. He did his normal nature boy antics such as kissing Becky which apparently raised a lot of people's eyebrows online a lot of people have some doubts whether that was a scripted moment or not 
but um, Charlotte retained, and then Sasha Banks came out to a huge pop, and it teased like Sasha was going to join uh, Charlotte, which would have made no sense whatsoever, but fortunately, um, Sasha swerved Charlotte, and now we have that program. What I think's probably going to happen is you may see a triple threat match at Mania between... Nice neckbreaker. You might see a triple threat match between Becky, Sasha, and Charlotte at Mania, which will be all kinds of awesome. Then we had the Rumble match, so nothing but title matches. And it was pretty good, I have to say. It did what it needed to. Um, I'm not one of the people who are who's actually upset with the fact that uh, Triple H won. But the Rumble had a lot of really good surprises to it. We had... Uh, first and foremost, we had AJ Styles debuting, which I was so happy about. Let's go ahead and rest up and hit Triple H with our finisher and call it a day. After this knee breaker, just to add insult to injury. AJ came out with this kind of uh, rap. Oh, nice. Triple H. Good. You still got some fight in you. Not enough to save you, though. And you're busted open. I really hope you don't hold that against me. Okay. There you go. He's probably going to kick out, which I expect from him. Because it took me a long time to get to the pin. There we go. And he's got his signature out. Um, he came out to kind of a rap uh, gospel choir thing. And Reigns was very confused. The crowd was very excited. Um, Reigns was interesting. I It's very strange to me because... You, he's the golden goose. He's the. They want him to be the new superstar. Uh, not Marcus, but they want him to be the, the new big guy. But they don't really book him like the big guy because he went out on an injury spot when the League of Nations attacked him. So he was basically out of the match resting up. And that's that's something that I, would, I feel a heel would do, especially when they move to a shot of him... Um, they moved to a shot of him walking under his own power out to away from the ring, which they probably wouldn't have done. There were a lot of bad camera angles um, during the rumble. And I can actually say that because I... Uh oh Nice move, Triple H. I can... I, I used, I've used to be a cameraman for a living. And... Like, for example, when AJ came out, they didn't show the Titan Tron. They just had a, sh they had a shot of Roman's face, which didn't really help anyone. Whoa. That was weird. There's a nice little dragon screw leg whip. Hunter? Now, let's try this again, shall we? There we go. Right smack in the middle of the ring. Please don't hold this against me, Hunter. Count it, ref. Now I wonder if anyone's going to attack me after the match. And pinning the COO should have me move up the IC, the Intercontinental Championship rankings just a smidge, maybe? Can you give me that luxury? But um, the Wyatts were pretty dominant in the match. For What it looks like, um, for those who haven't really watched or know what's kind of going on, they're pushing what looks to be... Um, here are some of the matches. There's going to have Triple H because he came out at number 30 and ended up winning the thing. I have no qualms with that because I'm actually a Triple H fan. Um, okay, he he likes this just a little less. And we put on a three-star match with him, so that's good for him. 
Um, it looks like it's going to be Triple H against Reigns, which will be what it is. Ambrose against Jericho, because Ambrose eliminated Chris Jericho. Um, they had that kind of flare up before. I like that for no other the potential for the promos between the two. I'm not really looking forward that much to the match. Jericho had a match with AJ on Raw last night that wasn't particularly good. And it actually surprised me with how kind of um, subpar it was. It looked like Jericho couldn't really keep up with AJ. Now, maybe the fact that he was in the Rumble match for like an hour, but still it was... I'm being for good potential. And look, we're taking on Damian Sandow. Performed two signatures during the match. And we can do that against Damian here. Um, are there any heat? Okay, Neville is number one contender. We will start. We will start a program with Neville if he's available here for it. Well, doesn't look like it there, unfortunately. Okay, against Day. Oh, we're about to be attacked. Someone else is going to try and make themselves famous. And then we have Kevin Owens against AJ Styles. Because Kevin Owens eliminated AJ and mocked him. I cannot wait for the potential of that match, guys. That is going to be amazing. Kevin Owens is the workhorse of WWE right now. Um, Ziggler, too, to a point. But because Kevin Owens is a heel, he works with all the big stars. He can put himself over and still make other people look like a million dollars. Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And I cannot wait for that. If, if even some of these matches end at fast lane, that is what it is. But the potential... Oh, my lord. Oh, Luke. No, 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 no. <laughs> Instead of the yeah, 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 yeah. I do not want to go to war with the Wyatt family right now. I'm just wanting to get some icy gold. And you guys... Keep on making it difficult for me. I don't know why. That is, but I would really like you to keep your awesome discus clothesline to yourself, please. Because that is not how I'm. That's not how I'm rolling. As I walk over Luke Harper, I'm certainly not endearing myself here. But he attacked me first. And we will finish with a nice Saito suplex. And to end it, walk over him. Man. Well, let's talk to Renee again and see what happens. Hmm. Did that actually make... Seamus like us a little bit. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. Do you have any other Let's kind of clothes other than Luke that black Harper. top, Renee? How do you feel about him ambushing you tonight during your own match? Nothing new here. My matches are the best. I got ambushed? Yeah. I got ambushed? I felt a gnat on my back earlier. Is that what you were talking about? Well, guess what? That gnat is going to get smashed. Got any more ridiculous questions for me? Now, don't be rude to the lady there, Marcus. There is a lot of tension brewing between you two. What's going on there? Uh... Yeah, he's not worthy of my time. He makes me sick. He thinks he can call me out and try to get a match with me? He wants to make a name for himself by getting into the ring with greatness? Well, guess what? He is not My eyes are set on Neville. He needs to come My eyes are set on Neville because I know if I start a rivalry with Sheamus right now, I'm not going to get that title match. I'm going to get another souped up. I'm going to get a match against a souped up Super there Saiyan Irishman. And you, I don't Cole. want that to happen. Hello, Dean. And Harper. 
I am very much looking forward to seeing Dean and Jericho. And let's see, were there any other rivalries? They're continuing. The Rock came out on Raw because it was Miami, and they had a program with the, or he had a program with the New Day, and then the Usos came in. So they're continuing that feud because they don't have a whole lot of tag team depth, unfortunately. But, you know, I was actually looking forward to wrestling Damian Sandow. So we got on SmackDown. Oh, we got a match against the GOAT. What do we have to do? Run in on any face superstar during his entrance. Okay, I can do that if Neville is here. Please tell me Neville is here. Neville is not, unfortunately. Um, well, let's see who's in the IC rankings. Wonder where Neville is. He might be injured, I guess. Oh, Harper's number two. Wow. Okay. And I... How are they higher in the rank? Because I, I slacked off their rivalries is probably why. Okay. Well, now we know. Knowing's half the battle, right? So we've got Sting versus Triple H. Bo Dallas, Jack Swagger, Sami Zayn. I could lay the smack down on Sammy for old time's sake. But we have a match against Debry, which we will do in the next episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.